Okay, so let's do a cold start uh, on this Jaguar, and we'll film what uh, comes out of the tailpipe, uh, and then we can uh, listen to it idle, uh, keeping in mind that uh, it will quiet down a little bit when it is warm. So, start it up for you. Very, very sweet. There is almost a complete absence of any vibration whatsoever. Uh, and there's certainly uh, no uh, valve train noise or locking or anything or anything else. It, it, it runs beautifully. It'll be enriching now because it's, it's just starting to cold. Watch of these XJSs is there's no stop on the doors as you might think there would be. So it's really easy to chip the door because it can get away from you and you think it's stopped and it isn't. Uh, so uh, we're showing an idle of about uh, 1200 RPM. This will settle uh, to, uh, to around five or 600. Uh, we're showing uh, four on the oil pressure gauge. That's kilopascals uh, times 100. So that's four times 100, 400 kilopascals. And uh, 400 kilopascals is roughly around 60 PSI. And we can see the temperature is, uh, is cold and the buzzer does work. Uh, so in, uh, in a few seconds, the idle will settle back down once it's warm and uh, then we'll take this Jag for a drive. Okay, we are ready to take this Jaguar uh, out for a drive. Uh, it's just idled for about five minutes here. We can see we have a little bit of temperature in the engine. Uh, we had the uh, oil pressure at about 400 kilopascals. It's warmed up a little bit down to uh, 300 kilopascals. We're running 50 weight oil in the car. Um, if I give it some revs, uh, we can see it goes up to four and wants to stay there, close to five. Okay, so that's probably 65 PSI or something like that. You see the charging is normal and we see that there are no warning lights. All right, so the uh, clock works. The uh, radio does work, and uh, we'll demonstrate that. Aerial in the back works, and uh, climate control works. Now, if I put it on full air, it's just a little bit cool. It's not cold, but it is cool. Seventy-five and at auto. So 
so we'll just get out of this industrial area here uh, and then um, we'll go find some nice roads and a nice uh, place to do some glamour shots and have a nice cruise uh, with this uh, old Jaguar. It's a very lovely thing and I must say I do feel pretty good uh, when I'm driving it. So it's a, a feel good kind of a car. So we're driving west out of the city um, in the 1986 Jaguar XJSC. Uh, we've been driving for about 15 minutes now. Uh, we've got our car fully up to temperature. It's running at about a quarter of the gauge. Um, there's a police car directly in front of me, so I won't show you the car's accelerative capabilities, uh, which are prodigious. Um, we are running uh, in between three and four hundred kilopascals, and that's between 50 and 60 psi. Uh, that's with 50 weight oil. The uh, AC is blowing cool. I wouldn't say ice cold, but it, it is working, uh, and it is cooling the cabin. car sat for a while so it could probably use a recharge uh, of the AC. Um, we have the trip computer which works. Uh, we have all the lights that work. We've got uh, wipers that work. Uh, we've got the wiper squirters uh, which also work. I demonstrated the high and low, low beams uh, in the shop and uh, they work. The light for number one works there. I don't know what number two does. It, it's the same thing in, in my other XJS as well. I have no idea what that does. Uh, but this one lights up the, um, uh, the passenger light. The car is extremely refined, and even over some really rough uh, iron plates on the road, steel plates on the road, uh, there's hardly any uh, noise, vibration, and harshness, which makes it way, it makes its way into the cabin. It's an extremely refined car, especially you know since it was designed in the in the early 70s, and the first XJS came out in 1976. So it's an older design, but Jaguar did a really brilliant job with isolating uh, NVH from, from the monocoque with the use of subframes that carry the engine and also suspension. So, like I said earlier in the video, I have, I have a Mercedes of about this uh, vintage, a W126S class, and there's really no comparison when it comes to, um, uh, to the cabin noise and particularly the suspension noise, because on, on the S class, I mean, you hear pretty much everything. So, it's an, this is an exceptionally refined car. I mean, it. You know, I don't think Rolls Royces are actually uh, this refined. So, a uh, remarkable achievement for the day. I mean, you do pay a price for that in, in terms of, you know, servicing the brakes and so on because they're inboard, and you have to drop the subframes to do a lot of stuff. But I'd, I'd gladly accept that uh, compromise, uh, given how uh, relaxed this car is to drive. And, uh, and its effortless uh, performance. So, uh, I mean, to my knowledge, and I, I've tried everything, everything in this car works. Um, the cruise control, I will demonstrate. I did try that the other day, and uh, it works. We'll try a passing maneuver here. downshift necessary. So the brakes are nice, smooth, no vibration. 
when we looked under the car, we saw you know a little bit of corrosion on the outside of the steel discs, but but nothing that would warrant their replacement. Traffic's no fun in a high performance car. I don't know where everybody's going. So we are coming to the end of the driving video for this 1986 Jaguar XJS SC. Uh, I've done about 100 kilometers today, um, all the way from far eastern uh, part of the city out west. Some nice roads. We took the old Banff Coach Road, which is a nice twisty road. The car has behaved uh, faultlessly, and uh, it's had the all the correct uh, pressures and temperatures. Um, and uh, no hesitations, no issues uh, at all. I mean, I can, if I'm, you know, to be picky about it, uh, there's the tiniest little bit of vibration, uh, which is, you know, from the tires, which, which are, I think, from 1996. Um, the AC is cool and works, um, but it's not ice cold, so it, you know, it's been, sitting for a while uh, i'm sure it could use a, a replenishment um and that's about it uh there's there is some uh, there's a drip of oil and some seepage from the uh the valve covers um but that's a pretty short list on a car um on an xjs that hasn't been um uh, driven uh regularly for probably 25 years um, it uh, has been checked over. You can talk to the mechanic who looked at it, uh, a sit at XJ Auto, who PDI'd these cars when they were new, um, and uh, has been through this car and also my other Jaguars. We did it. We just recently did a Series Three type together and uh, another XJSC, and uh, so uh, the car is uh, remarkably well preserved inside and out, no corrosion and uh, you can see it idles very sweetly and good oil pressure and good temperatures and so it, it, it's a really nice car so look forward to uh, passing it on to the next custodian uh, now that we're done with it here in Calgary. Thank you very much Lawrence Romanowski.